today's video we have a quick little vlog for you guys i thought i would first show you guys my protein shake just if any of you guys are curious i'm extremely extremely picky on protein powder i used to love gold standard protein i love basically anything with actual whey in it i think whey is delicious however i cannot stand vegan protein like i cannot stand that graininess i've tried literally every single uh vegan protein imaginable at vitamin shop or gnc and they're all disgusting i usually give them away and it sucks because vegan protein is so expensive it's like 40 bucks and i'll literally just give it away to like my lactose friends but i actually found a vegan protein i'm not gonna say it's as delicious as gold standard that's like saying vegan cheese is better than regular cheese no offense okay but um this is honestly like it's good like good enough that like i can enjoy it not not saying that it's better but yeah let me show you guys uh the ingredients okay so please don't mind the messy background in my kitchen counter purely because my dad and my brother were cooking and they never put anything away so we have um vanilla almond milk this is the protein powder that i was talking about it's actually it's the best vegan protein powder i've ever tried and that's saying a lot then we also have this for extra collagen extra matcha this is for caffeine and then my little um, muji blender so oh yeah and then coconut water as i mean coconut milk and banana It is so hot, I had to put all my dishes away, but cheers. Delicious. You can also add honey or maple syrup. I'm making my apple cider vinegar water later, so I don't need any of the extra maple syrup. And it's honestly pretty sweet because of the banana. So let's get to showing you what's in my Ava bag. Alrighty, so today's featured guest is Chubbers. I call him Chubbs. Um, he's my little baby. I've been spending like way more time with him because he got a little health scare like a week or two ago. So I'm trying to spend as much time with him as possible. If he gets out of here, I mean this swing. So I got this swing at Home Goods. It was originally like 80 bucks, but I got it for I think like $45. Tell me how cute this is. It's like a little hammock for it's actually a cat hammock but my dog is pretty small i bet you five dollars that he's going to jump out of this during probably within like 10 seconds i think it's by, because of the fact that it just moves but anyway <laughs> i thought i would show you really quick super appropriate what i got from sephora so one of my friends got me a sephora gift card and i finally used the gift card and bought the things that i've been wanting but they've been sold out for the longest time so since it came in the mail today i thought i would feature this oh my goodness <laughs> he hates it i'm sorry is this very distracting okay let's try to multitask i'm gonna hold him so i'm taking the stuffing out all righty all right <gasps> okay so it's still missing one thing but i thought i would show you so i got three things but one of the things i think is being shipped separately okay look look he's sitting but i think it's because it's not moving okay so i finally got the hollywood flawless filter in a lighter shade because the one i originally had or have it's shade four or five i believe i don't know it's just a little too dark for me so i finally got a lighter one it's in the shade three fair this one has like a peachy undertone so yeah i have it in shade three and then let me just grab my other one really quick so this is shade four and this is shade three you can actually see this one is not even just that it's darker this is way more neutral and then this one you can see is a lot more peachier which is very strange 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works. But yeah, this is super old. I've had this for easily like two years. I probably should toss it. I don't even use it anymore. Hence why I've been wanting a new one. And then I also got this Rare Beauty blush. I was debating between Encourage, Hope, and Happy. Happy is like the TikTok one that's super popular. I don't have a TikTok, but I see it on the YouTube reels. Every single person uses Happy. But I don't know. I don't really need a bright pink blush purely because I have my Dior blush that's pink. But I don't have this like mauve color. And the other main reason why I wanted this is because I do have the blush in Bliss. But Bliss is a matte formula and this one is like their dewy formula. And everybody loves the Encourage one. I wouldn't say this one's like TikTok popular too. This one has been sold out. Okay, anyway, so enough about this. I'm going to put this stuff to the side. Okay, so what you guys have been waiting for, I thought I would show you guys. I hope him swinging isn't too distracting huh look at him being such a good boy okay so i did do like a little bit of a ring light just so you guys can see so i'm gonna show you guys what fits in this tiny little bag so as you guys can see i do have a lot of stuff in it right now in general i like to keep kind of my luxury makeup i have makeup in some of my white drawers and then obviously the majority of my makeup you guys can always see in my background of my videos but i thought i would just show you guys random things fit in here just for any of you guys that don't want to go into the celine store just to see or what if the celine store doesn't have this so you just made the dry for no reason we just wasted like ten dollars on gas so this is gonna be a pretty long chatty video we're just gonna be putting a bunch of stuff in here okay we'll just start with like bigger products so my new uh charlotte tilbury this one this does fit in here so this is the length of it if you guys want to see it like standing up like this but this stuff fit perfectly sideways like this now i'm just gonna do like round bottles i guess so this is the charlotte tilbury i have a travel size max fix plus i have a rare beauty so, so you guys can see just how much like cylindrical things we can add in here i have a rare beauty blush another rare beauty blush and then a travel size luminous silk so so far so good okay and then maybe i'll put some palettes so i have two charlotte tilbury eyeshadow quads which is like a general shape for an eyeshadow quad these can go in here as well. I have the Dior blush in the pink color. Just so you guys can see, I also have an hourglass palette that everyone loves, the holiday palette. These actually fit perfectly in here as well. So if you need like a mirror, I feel like this might be the max. You just kind of have to rearrange things. Oh, and then also this, uh, one of my subbies, or Instagram followers? Subbies, both. They actually informed, see, I was so stupid. I thought these were for lipsticks. These are actually for makeup brushes. So freaking smart. But if you guys want more space, you would pull it down. Oh no, Chubbs is making a run for it. You good? Are you okay? He's like, ugh, this is taking too long. Okay, well anyway, so if you pull it down, you actually have way more space. And I'm gonna show you that this was able to fit everything like this like no bulge no nothing i actually still have space in here if we wanted to fill this up with maybe let's see i mean you could easily put in mind you i haven't taken anything out yet like a lipstick could also go in here and then if you wanted to throw in maybe like two travel size brushes these are like the sonia g ones let me just take this palette out and we're just gonna keep filling in here so like this can fit in a good amount now let me take these things out and we're gonna try other items so let's just do common things that people have so setting powder charlotte tilbury highlighter okay um a cream blush this is one of my favorite cream blushes i have a fenty lip gloss fenty eye corrector we have a shiseido travel size brush okay so i just wanted to show for comparison these are like full size brushes technically oh no he's making a run for it and he's jumping okay, <laughs> okay i'm just gonna move this since he's not gonna sit in it okay so i readjusted the camera these are the products that we currently have just common things people have like lip gloss one brush i even threw in a kabuki brush because i know a lot of people like to travel with a kabuki brush this is a full size lip liner a lip liner full size does fit in here you don't have to shorten it get a used one and let me think of other common things oh a face powder actually we already have a face powder in here 
why not just chuck another one in here and let's see we have a charlotte tilbury blush setting powder again a victoria beckham eyeshadow quad oh yeah so going back to the brushes so as you can see this is a full sized brush this is part of the ariel and morphe collab aesthetically this is slightly longer than a typical brush but this brush does not fit in here even if you do it diagonally it will not fit the only way this brush will fit is if you bend the bristles and nobody wants to damage bristles here we have a sonia g part of the lotus collection this actually does fit in here perfectly i would be careful though so if you use this for like foundation or something like that the moment it gets dirty it will probably rub against the sides mine right now is really clean but if you guys are wondering this does fit in here and then i also have a mac uh 217 i feel like this brush is every single makeup lover's go-to brush this actually does fit in here as well very comfortably oops very comfortably though so if you guys want to see it like this yeah this fits a good amount of makeup I don't know about you guys, but when you buy like something special like this to hold your makeup in, whether it's this, whether it's a niece, whether it's a regular toiletry or what have you, I like to kind of designate special makeup in these little cases so for example if you guys ever see on instagram all the people that have the nieces they always put like their chanel makeup or dior makeup and i totally feel that vibe and that aesthetic so let me show you guys putting all of my lip gloss and how many lip gloss fit in here if you want this to just be kind of like your go-to like fancy lip glosses or lipsticks you can put like your tom ford lipsticks in here charlotte tilbury lipsticks so i'm going to show you how many dior lip gloss i can fit or just how many i have on hand i know some of them are in my purses and i'm too lazy to go check but you can kind of get the general idea so this is empty okay so we have four lip glows right here oh just for reference too so this is your standard lip glow size right standing up it's about like this and you can't close it i feel like this is actually really important information if you guys want to see if you stack them all it won't be able to close because the lip glow is higher than this one but you are able to lay it down so we have four in here five six seven eight nine ten eleven now i'm just doing lipsticks these are my tatcha lipsticks 12 13 14 15 16 okay 16 lip products and to top off the 16 lip products i have the ever so popular uh the charlotte tilbury glow gas and beauty light wands i have four of them in here so i already have 16 lip products and i can actually fit all my highlighters in here as well and i actually still even have room for more so let's just throw in a small thing so i'm going to put in my lip liner this is the one that lily rose depp swears by actually this combo is her combo it is what is it it's like nude brune 162 with le boy in the coco rouge flash and then let's see what else can i put in here i guess just for keeping with theme i'll put my rare beauty blushes as well and then look guys all of these in here hold on i should probably tip the camera oops i'm literally going to break this so i'm just gonna take this out it does fit just because i don't want it to keep falling but do you guys see all of the items i have in here and then watch how i can perfectly close this with no extra force or effort and then yeah how freaking perfect yay okay this is like bonus round so we have very popular priming and setting products we have the urban decay all-nighter spray the mac fix plus full size we also have the tatcha primer and then the hourglass primer so i'm going to show you whether or not any of these products can fit in here so the max fix plus fits the hourglass veil primer fits the Tatcha primer fits and then so does the Urban Decay one so fits literally perfectly my camera battery died but so yeah if you guys are the type that like to just carry primer setting spray eyebrow lip balm right let's just put in a fancy one just for giggle sake and highlighter I guess then you're good to go you're good to go so that was just a little bonus round I'll just show you one last time how this closes 
super easy so even though this is short and stubby i feel like because of the width of this it actually makes it a very very good kind of packing tube i guess i was extremely surprised how much stuff i was actually able to fit in here until i actually got it normally though in all honesty i store my favorite makeup products in here i'll store my fancy stuff so i'll store my dior blush and i usually keep this open because i don't normally travel with this well to be honest this is brand new and i haven't gone anywhere i'm sure that if i actually do travel somewhere i will bring this but in general i do leave this like partially open because it is on my makeup area so it's really easy for me to just rummage around for all of my fancy makeup but yes so that about ends this vlog on what fits if you guys have any additional questions if there's something specific that you're curious about if it fits in this please let me know down in the comments i can totally just put it in for you and then reply in the comments if you have something like specific and if you guys do enjoy these kind of quick review vlog style videos please don't forget to let me know down in the comments just so i know if you hated this if you thought this was super messy you just it was just all over the place chaotic then uh that's totally fine too honestly like i love any type of feedback if it's negative i'll just be like okay well just won't do that again but yeah as always if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps for my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys